There's always been a lot of talk about VTG and the potential, but this is really the first time we had a vehicle from the factory, which is in operation in the market in the Netherlands, to have that tested here. Uh, so no more talking, realization. Uh, the key EV9 is special because the bidirectional charging is standardly equipped in our vehicles, which means this is a new benchmark in, in, in charging. The feature allows discharging to the grid, but also to your home, which is vastly different than, for example, vehicle to load, where you only provide energy back to a single appliance. At ELAT we uh, are testing several things. We are testing the, the charger, so we have also developed our own charger where we test our charger, how it reacts with the car. We also test our smart charging service, where we test how smart charging profiles are implemented, but also how the qualities of the smart charging profiles. And of course, distributing back to the grid, so we're also measuring the power quality of the energy we provide back to the, to the Dutch grid. For the ELAT test lab, this is very important because it's the next step in the evolution. We started with charging, then it became smart charging, and now we develop towards V2G. V2G is a cost saver for EV drivers, for consumers. When prices are low, you charge the vehicle, and prices are low because it's very sunny and rooftop solar generates a lot of energy. And you can discharge the vehicle when prices are high, later in the evening, uh, for example. And this way you make a little bit of money on your battery of electric vehicle. At Kia, we want to really enhance the energy transition and help with making it more sustainable and that EV adoption only increases. And with bi-directional charging, we really believe that this is a unique opportunity to make it really feasible. We want to be one of the first to implement this so Kia can take a reading law and his responsibility to make this uh, transition happen. The ELA test laboratory is a really unique test facility where we can test an EV charger and CPO, how it will interact, but also providing energy back to the grid so we can check whether we are meeting the grid codes uh, according to Dutch standards. With the support of ELA, we can really enhance our car to make it compliant with uh, the, the Dutch grid. There are many uh, test labs, but what makes us unique is that we have the grid perspective. And from that perspective, we created it with also unique hardware. We have grid emulators, we have a lot of capacity available. We do both AC and DC testing for vehicle to grid. At Eland, we foresee that many other car manufacturers are going to develop bidirectional charging because it's an added value, not only for the EV driver, but also for grid operators in the Netherlands, but also other European uh, countries. Uh, this is a really huge step in the evolution of charging, but also in EVs. It opens up a whole lot of new opportunities. You can use the car as a battery on wheels, which allows the use cases, for example, for congestion services, but also flexibility services in the Netherlands. If you're a car manufacturer working on bidirectional charging, or you're making bidirectional charging stations, feel free to reach out to test your car or your charging station.